How's it going guys? Uh, Sean here. Wanted to make a tutorial how to uh, warp tracks in Ableton Live. Uh, this is mainly used of course for DJ sets, uh, DJ style sets. Um, so I opened up my D uh, DJ project that I have and uh, I'm controlling it with an APC40. Um, but this you know, applies to even production as well if you're syncing up loops and you want to clean them up and get them all nice and you know, properly warped. But of course, this is mainly for the DJ style uh, setups, where the loops are really long. You know, it's full tracks, so they might drift, and uh, you want to crossfade and blend your tracks. So it's really important that they sync up perfectly, and uh, then you can get some nice blends and crossfades with them. So uh, to start out, uh, I'm going to use this track as an example. I'll just play it for you guys really quick. You can tell with the metronome on that it's out of sync right at, right from the you know get go. So we're gonna warp it. So you turn on the warp um, function. Um, it might already have a bunch of warp markers laid out for you. It's usually best to do this by hand. The Ableton's kind of hit and a miss with warping stuff. Unless it's really really simple stuff, then it gets it pretty good. But full full tracks, long tracks with a lot of complex sounds and instruments, it usually doesn't do very well. So um, what you want to do is wipe it clean so uh, in my case I don't have to do that but I'll show you guys how to do it if you start at the one and right click on it and then just go warp from here it's gonna wipe out all the other warp markers and you can start fresh and uh, you of course you guys will want to do that and then on the one make sure it's right on the kick which it is on this one it's right where the sound really you know hits hard on the attack and um, then go through and do a lot of the other um, main uh, beats. Um, usually you got to do about at least three or four to really kind of dial the majority of the track. And then after that, it, you might not have to do any more. So um, let me kind of show you um, how to do it on this one. On the nine, um, let's see. And, I, and you might notice too, I'm not listening to it yet because I don't need to. That one's a little off. Uh, zoom all the way in and see, get it really, really tight. And you can see, I want to bring this right over to um, the 9. So to do that is press shift, and then you can drag the audio over. Now uh, you gotta, <laughs> excuse my dog. So you drag the audio over and uh, get it nice and synced up there. Let's zoom all the way out and check on the 17. And this is where it gets interesting. A lot of these tracks have uh, a lot of synth sounds in them, so you can't, you know, it's really hard and you can't really see the kicks anymore. So what you're gonna have to do is rely on your ears and the metronome to pick this stuff out and see if it drifts off. So I'm gonna turn on the metronome and play the track. So starting from right in the beginning, you can tell it, it synced up really well. It's playing right in cue with the metronome. But we're going to go throughout the track and see if it drifts. And it's pretty good. Maybe a little off there. So, just a minor adjustment. Double click on it to lock it. Zoom all the way in and then shift drag over that waveform to get it all nice and we can play another track too and see how it sounds
how they're both playing. Cool. So that's it. That's how to warp uh, audio in Ableton Live. If you guys have questions, let me know. Leave me comments, and uh, I'll try and answer those. If you guys have ideas or suggestions for other tutorials, let me know, and I'll see if I can make them. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.